Mr. Christopher S. Wood is a multifaceted academic. With a Bachelor of Computer Science and a Bachelor of Commerce in Marketing and Accounting, it is clear that Mr. Wood likes numbers. Welcome, Christopher S. Wood. Let's get to know your spicy mind. Welcome to Spicy Minds. I am your host, Sharon McDermott. Today, I'm going to be asking you some questions about yourself and your fields of study while throwing in a few mind-bending challenges and, of course, delicious bannock and hot sauces from all over British Columbia. Before we get started, how would you like me to address you? I am Sharon, and I prefer she, her pronouns. I am Chris, and I am he, him pronouns. Great, thank you. So I'll start off with some easy questions about you. Where did you grow up? Tell me about your hometown. Well, I grew up in uh, Thickton, British Columbia. It, uh, not much. It's uh, really busy in the summer and I grew up enjoying nature by uh, a fine creek and some mountains that I ventured forth and spent a good portion of my days on. Lived across the street from the high school, lived across the street from the elementary school. So I was a, a regular a fine student of showing up late. Okay, it is time for our first hot sauce. So take a piece of your bannock, rip off a little bit, and you may start dipping. Our first hot sauce today is a peanutty hot sauce. Peanutty? Mm-hmm. It's quite thick. Now that you have a thick peanut buttery mouth, can you please tell me about the three most influential people in your life and how they have impacted you? Well, my first one was uh, definitely my father. He had a big impact on my... He really gave me the, the role model, the fact that you really need to do things with your DA today. You can't just stay at home. You can't just play sports. You can't do things in theory. You actually have to go out and make a difference on a daily basis to see what you can. The second one was... Uh, with uh, my grade seven teacher, his name was uh, Ron Olson. Probably the first teacher in elementary school that actually saw the potential, or I felt that there was potential in me. In his case, he actually took a, a group of us in class and, and led us to further academic pursuits so we could explore things that were beyond the curriculum. And it's not because we didn't do the curriculum, it's because we were done the curriculum. And my last one was, uh, Mr. Olfert, John Olfert. He was my high school basketball coach. And just like Ron Olson made a difference in, uh, he saw the potential. In grade seven, I was uh, one of the taller boys and he came over from the high school, saw me, and he invited me in grade seven to play with uh, the grade nine, the grade tens up at the high school, intellectually and physically occupied, as opposed to just writing another essay or doing another math problem. And are you ready for another hot sauce? Yes, yes. Is it peanut butter? No. Our next hot sauce is called the unicorn. And it is made up of all sorts of different root vegetables. So it's time to get a little bit existential. If you could go back and give your 16-year-old self one piece of advice, what would it be? The 16-year-old blonde girl uh, is just not that into you, and it's time to move on. I'm sure there's a story behind that one. <laughs> so, are you ready for your next hot sauce? Oh, of course. Okay. So, this next one is called Liquid Gold, and it actually has 24 karat gold leaf in it. Gold leaf? Gold leaf. I like to think of it as hollandaise with cayenne in it. So, again, sticking with the existential theme, if you were a color right now, in this moment, what color would you be and why? I'd be yellow. My youngest son uh, has this, he's always just loved yellow. Makes me happy every time I see yellow that I think of him smiling and how much he just loves yellow in his life. <laughs> and honestly, that, that's a really good memory. Okay. Are you ready for some more hot sauce? Sure. So this next hot sauce is our first green sauce of the day. And this one comes from Tofino. Tofino? Mm-hmm. British Columbia? Yep, they're all from British Columbia. It's a cilantro lime. Yeah, that, that cilantro is usually hit or miss sometimes, but mm -hmm. it, it's really quite good in this hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's time for our rapid fire round. 
So I'm going to be asking you seven questions. I need you to answer them as fast as you can with one word answers only, please. What is your pet peeve? Avoidance. What is your favorite word? Pineapple. What is your least favorite word? Cow. <laughs> Name a four letter word that starts with the letter B. Bird. If you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? Samuel. What is your favorite pet? Cat. Have you ever worn socks with sandals? Better question is have I ever not worn socks with sandals? One word answer, please. Yes. Thank you. Are you ready for your next hot sauce? I am. Okay, this next hot sauce comes from Salt Spring and has habanero, curry, and orange as its flavor base. Orange? Orange. It's quite sweet. It is. A little bit of tangy zest in there. It is. Yeah, and there's the burn. What is your favorite thing about Northern British Columbia? The peace and quiet. I have to, uh, definitely the peace and quiet. I mean, uh, living here in Prince George, it's a bigger city, still 80,000, bigger than some people would like it. But uh, I've spent time living in Toronto, living in Victoria, living in Vancouver. And after you've been in big and noisy in those towns and you come to this one, it really just makes a huge difference in, in the lifestyle that you get to live. Mm -hmm. So that's my favorite thing about Prince George. Our next sauce is our second green sauce for today. And this one is made right here in Prince George. And it has jalapenos in it. Tastes like, almost like a pickled hot sauce to it me. It does, it does. It's kind of fancy. Okay, can you tell me about your academic journey? After high school in Penticton, I ended up going to the University of Victoria and then getting a computer science degree. Um, it took five years because I did uh, the co-op program and I worked for BC government. I worked for a couple private firms. Upon finishing that, I ended up working at IBM for a few, after some time in uh, Toronto at IBM. After time there, I ended up coming back to British Columbia with my uh, beautiful, amazing girlfriend slash fiance slash complicated relationship to, uh, <laughs> because we decided that Toronto was just not gonna be where we were gonna raise kids. We came back to BC and uh, she went to school and I worked for a little while. We ended up moving to Prince George when she finished because she got a, a job teaching. Never would wanna leave after. Um, after that, uh, moving town, I went to, to uni NBC and got a Bachelor of Commerce degree. And I did a double major in accounting and marketing. Um, started my own business been working it. Okay, well are you ready for something that's perhaps a little suspicious? Like yes. our suspicious Cyclops. Oh. So this hot sauce. It looks like the one-eyed monster. Well yes, is um, sort of more of sort of what I'd say the most traditional of the hot sauces that we're going to be tasting today. Certainly biggest bottle on the table. Mm. That one comes across strong. What made you decide to start Brazen Jester Studios? Brazen Jester Studios was an idea back in 2019 that I wanted to make mobile video games. You know, everyone of our generation, you always want to make a video game. You always come up with dreams and fantasies of doing it. I said, you know, just like uh, my father had told me when I was young, doing it makes a difference. So I did it and I stepped up and uh, went forward. We ended up making and releasing four video games within a year and a half that are available on Google Play. 172, 173 countries around the world are distributed in. And then of course COVID hits and uh, you know, everything ends up hitting the fan thanks to uh, that wonderful gift. So coming out of the, the pandemic, we've done the video games. Um, they're out there, they're, they're selling, but we really wanted to expand and we wanted to see what sort of opportunities here locally we could end up doing to get people involved again. So we ended up uh, going sideways and we ended up going into film. And as part of that, we've gone forth and made BC Legacy, the parks of Prince George, uh, which is out on Telesoptic. 
Um, it is also available on YouTube for the, those that don't subscribe. Other than that, we are looking for other great opportunities and we're seeing what else we, we can find. But I wanted to, to step up and create an arts occupation in a town that is traditionally non-arts friendly. You ready for another hot sauce? Oh, I don't know, this one's scary. Well, it is haunted peach. It is. <laughs> I can let you know ahead of time that the heat comes from fermented ghost pepper. What is one lesson from creating your own business? What is one lesson from creating your own business or that creating your own business has taught you that you think everyone should learn at some point in their life? Exactly how complicated it is to be able to have a place that people can come to and interact. It is absolutely mind-boggling how complicated it is for property management, for maintenance, to be able to outfit just with chairs and tables and computers in a safe way, just so other people can come in and sit. It's one of those things that is absolutely astounding to me exactly how much work. You know, people say management don't do anything, but honestly, if everyone could stay at home, it would be a much easier world. <laughs> and I can definitely see why a lot more people are working at home nowadays, but that place location for people to gather is absolutely breathtaking how much work it takes for our second to last hot sauce. Oh, yes. This one is a very sweet sauce. It's a barbecue flavor base, and it is from the Okanagan. That one's really good. It's from the Okanagan, where Pendakes in BC is, so yes. I gotta love that. A little shout out to the hometown there. That's right. Okay. What do you consider your greatest professional achievement? My greatest professional achievement was definitely back in the days when I was working at IBM. And there, there was a project that had become out of date. A anyone that works in IT knows exactly what that looks like. It needed to be rebuilt and it needed to be rebuilt from scratch because it was built originally on the old mainframes using COBOL and Fortran and PL1 and a whole bunch of things that were invented in the 1960s but needed modern technology and it needed to be significantly faster. So during that time I led a, a team of uh, professionals, uh, writers, programmers, service reps through the redevelopment of that application for uh, various companies down in uh, the states that really needed it. The primary focus of the tool was to move stuff from the mainframe environment over mm -hmm. to the desktop environment. And they used that for the data mart, so to be able to see exactly what type of shopping habits they were. Uh, just a good number of years ago, but it's pretty commonplace to see that sort of stuff in the marketplace nowadays. But mm -hmm. 20 years ago, they were one of the few companies that had it. So this tool enabled them to be able to, to have that sort of market insight before. Mm -hmm. So that redevelopment and, and leadership was really wonderful. Great opportunity for when I was younger. Okay. So we have one last hot sauce for you to taste. Oh. This one, you mentioned your favorite word. It was pineapple. Yes. This one is called the Pineapple Express. Oh, there's a movie like that. Yeah, I don't think it's the same topic. Oh, good. This is definitely the spiciest of the uh, sauces. And I'll just warn you, it doesn't seem spicy at first, but it's got a slow bloom. So this is where you asked me the complicated question, right? Mm-hmm. No, not at all. Okay. Now that you have tasted our gauntlet of sauces from all over beautiful British Columbia, is there anything you would like our viewers to know? For example, what next for you? Any special projects coming up? Shameless self-plug. BC Legacy of the Parks of Prince George just came out this week. Uh, I am so proud of that documentary. Yeah, something we were able to make uh, during COVID, which seems a miraculous in its own state but uh, all seven episodes of it turned out wonderful my youngest uh, decided that he is indeed going to be the dance uh, member uh, my son is going to uh, be performing in various dance competitions 
throughout the province and I'm so excited to have him do that. And my oldest is uh, going to be going to uh, BC Games uh, for on the curling team. So uh, hopefully you guys can all see those games on replay uh, whenever this, uh, this show comes out. Well, thank you very much. It sounds like you've got lots of things on the go. Uh, it is. You never know what's going to be uh, coming into my door next. Yep. Well, thank you so much for tasting these lovely sauces with us and for letting me put you in the hot seat. No problem. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you.